Okay. Hey, yo. My name is Pingo, and if I if my dog could talk, this is what he would say. Hey, uh, hey, Ma. I know you be giving me these those bananas, bruh. Mmm, them things are good as I don't know what keep it coming, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'll be like, man, the bananas, bruh, them good in them fruits, you know what I mean? Shoot, I'll be like, let me get some fruit and banana, that same thing, but I like, yo, let me get some. Oh, yeah, let me get some. What? What? Let me get some. That banana, like, yo. But then when I gotta go to the bathroom, I'll be like, yo, I'll be doing the like this this bathroom dance. And she didn't notice, but she taught me how to go to the bathroom anyway. So I was like, yeah, if I get about it, I'm gonna go do it. And I'm like, yeah. But then guess what happened? When I actually go outside on my porch area and this dog out of nowhere would be like be like, hey, Hey yo yo dude, hey dude, what's good? But what's good, bro? Yo yo, I, I need to know if you got that thing I sent you. What thing, man? What thing, bro? Man, man you ain't sent me nothing. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to go to the bathroom. Can you get out my face, bro? Like really, but like I needs to go. Stop talking to me and let me chill and do what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Hey 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 hey. Don't hate me, man. I'm just saying. I saw this squirrel, bruh. This squirrel looked like it was having the best day of its life. And then I chased the crap. I chased that. I, I had to chase it, man. I had to chase it. So, but what I'm trying to tell you is, can you, can I hold a, can I hold a dollar? Can I hold a dollar? Like, like really? No, wait, no, wait. Yeah. But can I hold a, uh, can I hold a bone? Yeah, yeah, get a dollar. I need a bone. Cause, you know, I'm hungry. Man, I ain't getting nothing all day. I hear you be eating all these bananas and fr fruits and stuff. Yo, but like, can you, like, you know, hand me some meat? You know what I mean, too? You know what I'm saying? Like, really? That's what you're bothering me about? Some damn meat? Man, if you don't get your broke looking ass out of my face, but you ain't got no teeth, but I want to have to smile, but I can't. I done, man, make me, I, when I get done going to this bathroom, I'm going to come over there and I'm going to slap you so hard, your mama's going to say, no, why, why just slap him? He wasn't ready for all the noise that you did. And this little dude's like, hey, man, I, I know my stuff bad, but can y'all shit the hell up? <laughs> okay, I'm done <laughs> with all of that. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh man. Uh I just having some fun. I know. It was, I just had to do it like that. Cause oh, oh. What is this one actually? Okay, this is what happens when you mix this dude and this dude right here. And you get this little dude here. Don't ask. I, I don't know how, but you do. And guess what his voice is gonna sound like? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, hi everybody. Not nah, playing. Um, what the hell? What the hell is voice be sound like? Sound Mary Poppins. Hi everyone, I'm Mary Poppins. No, not really. Get that? It doesn't. That does not look right. But uh, yeah. Have you ever thought, why am I? What's my one eye blinking? Like, bruh, stop blinking when I ain't even blink yet. I blink. There you go, man. You better freaking. Okay, that's that was like I'm on, I'm, now I look like I'm high, but I ain't high. But, um, man, I saw this one, this one squirrel. Oh, wait, no, I am a squirrel. I think. I don't know. I don't know what this is. But I saw this one squirrel, bruh. I was looking like that squirrel was getting chased by that dog. And, man, that dog was like, hey, yo, you got a bone? And I was like, 
I don't think he got a bone, dog. You, you got a bone to pick with him? Like, hey, beg step my business, man. And he was like, yeah, he was that. And I was like, I ain't nigga, shit, shit, I ain't pineapples, bro, pineapples, bitch, your bad stuff, crazy looking ass. Uh, man, don't let me roast your butt right now, man. I wrote you so bad, your grandma be like, no. And your dad be like, man, you don't let this little, little tight, little tight roast your butt like that, man. If you don't get back up there and roast him. Nah, I'm just saying. Yo. Hey man, I can move left. I can move right. This 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 is a uh, like this is the stiff. And why is my nose red? Like I got little cheeks. Hey man, just because I got pink cheeks and a no a red nose and a little bun, a little thing in my head, don't think I'm a chick, bruh. And my ear is kind of lower than my other ear. Don't think I ain't I ain't no dog. You know I me, mean? you know no dog. Don't think I ain't no homie dog. Shoot, I got my I got my banana. It's in my house. I just gotta go get it. Don't make me get my banana. Gonna learn today. What a that what what a good banana look like today. Yeah, that reference, right? That was a nice reference. <laughs> but yeah. Look at look at my chin. Um uh, if I can actually pull back. I don't think I'm working, don't pull back. Oh, there you go. Now it's pulling up. And this thing is so late beyond but if I could I would ask this one girl out oh my gosh she is so beautiful I was just talking to her yesterday and I was like yo what's good how you doing how you doing she was like I'm doing good and you know I was playing music she was dancing. I was trying to dance, but the way my leg was set up, I looked like a a slow turtle that got shot in the foot. Trying to dance, that didn't look right. Or even one of those uh, actually nothing else. It just don't look right. You dancing, but other than that, yo, I had a great time yesterday. I was making videos, I was putting them on, you know what I mean? I was putting them on YouTube. And yo, this girl, bruh, she is she's tough. She a tough little cookie. I do really mean that. She's a real tough little cookie. Trying to give her everything that I wish I can, and I know that I can. It's just it's gonna take me a minute, and she knows that. And she knows that. Yeah, yeah. She be like, "Yo, don't worry about it. Take your time, little dude. <laughs> take your time." So I'm like, "Yeah, I can take my time all night long, eating some pizza. Mmm, pizza, yeah." Hey, I'm, I was, I, I'm hungry, man. Shoot, I'm always hungry. I can eat three pieces and one sitting. Matter of fact, one day, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go work, come on TC, not TC, come on Tiny, uh, um, YouTube. Talk about something else, I don't know what I said. Come on YouTube, I'm going to eat some pizza. And y'all going to see that, y'all be like, no, no, you need a whole bag of pizza. Like two, three things of pizza. Now, if I can't eat three things of pizza, um, don't hate me, right, cause I'm beautiful. Yeah, but yeah, I'll be doing some funny things. Oh, but hey, hey guys, hey guys, I got a home. I got my homie back. You know what I mean? He he, he's gonna come through. He gonna talk, you know, he gonna tell you what I and he, that makes no sense, what he was gonna do with, uh, to this dude that was messing with him while he was taking a dump. <laughs> Not really, no, he, was on, he wasn't taking a dump at the time. Well, he was at the time, but the dude was uh, asking him about some damn food. I'm like, bruh, leave him alone with the food self. And why my eye? I like I don't know why one eye is blinking and the other eye ain't even blinking. 
Ah, there you go. I'm going to move my head. Both eyes blink. That's weird. I know it's weird. But here's my other dude. My other homie. My dog. His name is Mr. Scruffy. Yo, what's good? I'm Scruffy. Yeah. I like sitting in my house, chilling. Okay, maybe I'm outside, but still, I like chilling, you know what I mean? I gotta do what I gotta do. Get this grind down, you know what I'm saying? I'm so enjoying this time, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, what, 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 <laughs> All day, nigga, all day. Okay, uh, what would you do? Now, what would you do if you had a chance to tell this girl that you, tell a girl that you love her, tell someone that you really care about them? Like, what would you do? How would you do it? I asked my friend that one time. He said, all right, what I would do, I would fly all the way to where she at. No, wait, no, I did it. I'm fly her here where I'm at. And then I would literally get on a, a helicopter ride and be like, I'm going to show you the world. Gleam and screaming and flying. I'm just saying I don't know why he even thought of that stuff. A whole new world. Look at that. But yeah, that's exactly what went through my mind. But what came out my mouth was... Alright, um, I'm going to show you the world, but you you may have to use you know the cab to get back where you at back home because I ain't I'm not taking it. No, I'm playing. But uh, he actually proposed to her. Well, that's what he said he was going to do. He said he was going to take her on a car on a uh, air um, helicopter ride and then propose to her that way. I was like, yo, that sounds like a cool idea. But you know what? I ain't got that kind of money. I'd be like, bruh, does it look like I got that kind of money? Be like, really, really, nigga, really? Man, if you don't get your rich ass, rich, your rich self out of here. Yeah, another reference. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's a cool dude, but, bruh. When you start talking about some flying, getting her in an uh, airplane, and then uh, an airplane, a helicopter, and then doing a whole bunch of other stuff, and having a, a banner that says, will you marry me, or being in front of a whole slew of people on the on the ground, and they're all, her whole family's behind her, and you're there saying, will you marry me, and see she says yes or no, that situation... Dads would be cool, but ain't no one got no damn kind of money or that kind of money to bring her whole family out here. Ain't no one doing that, man. No one is doing that unless you like Richie Rich ain't got I mean, you got a whole slew of money, like you billionaire or trillionaire, and you just you just love doing stupid shit. Sorry, stupid things. Okay, okay. Stupid things. <laughs> but, um, yo. At that time, I realized I, that wasn't me. That just wasn't me. You know? I couldn't just do all of that. Because at the end of the day, I ain't nothing to do. But if your ass got married twice, bruh, and you did all of that special lovey-dovey stuff that you just said you did a few minutes ago, you got married twice, there's no way in the hell that shit even worked. So why are you going to do it anyway? This is just wasting money. Shit, if the girl really loves you, she wouldn't care about the darn money. She wouldn't care about you doing all of that. That girl really did, does love you, like truly love you. She'll love you for whatever you 
should bring to the table. And I'm talking about love. Now, I'm not talking about no money. I ain't talking about no damn house. I'm talking about straight up love. Because at the end of the day, guess what she bringing? Nothing. If a girl tells you, oh, you got to be bringing a six figure. You got to be bringing, uh, already have a house. You got to be already having this, already having that. Yeah, I'm looking at it like, then what the hell are you doing? The first? What are you bringing in? Like, I don't care if you bringing in a whole, like, you got a job and all that stuff. That's nice you got a job, but, yo, what about a kid or two? What then what you going to do? What you going to say? Oh, I don't, kids are a lot. I ain't going to be having no kid come out of my coochie. My, coo my, my poop nanny. Not today. I ain't going to have no kids come out this day. Shoot, you better have yourself good ass. You better be paying me some good money. Go ahead, this come out me like that. Shoot, I could die. I'm like, yeah, I know you could die, but I could die of boredom <laughs> with your butt. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to freaking make all this money, and I ain't got time to be chilling with you, which what I want to do. But no, I gotta make all this money just so you could be happy. Cause all you care about is damn money. I mean, that's what I'll be, be like, yo, no. No, it's a two-way streak here. You, if you want to have your own business, cool. And if I want to have money in my pocket, cool too. That's cool. Too. That's that's all perfectly fine. But don't come to me and tell me you better be having a six-figure this and this this and that. I'm looking at you like you're crazy. I literally look at you like you're crazy. I'd be like. Do you need some milk? Do like do 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 you need some milk? Are, are you okay? Are you okay? You, are you sure? Are you sure you okay? Cause you sound like you need some milk. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm done and I'm out. Love y'all. Peace. Love. Make sure. When you find, when you meet that person, I'm talking about the, to the kids, when you meet that woman, that right man, the one that's with you, the one that's supposed to be with you for the rest of your life, when you meet that person, there's always going to be ups and downs. But treat that person with respect, and that person will treat you with love and respect back. And love that person too. Both, both ways. You and she wants to love you, you just love her. It's not supposed to be just, oh, I want to use you and and then you using her or she's using you back and forth kind of thing. No, it's, it shouldn't be that way. What should go down is that you both should love each other, cherish each other, and make sure you eat a lot of pancakes together. Because people that eat pancakes together stay together. You know what I mean? Sure, you make some pancakes, you get it together, you know, blah, 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 blah. Cookie, blah, 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 blah. But yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Just. Just just love the person. They'll love you back. If they don't really love you, then they're not the ones for you. If they're not there to help you through thick and thin and be there for you through thick and thin, then they're not the ones for you. There's always other, more other than people out there. And people need to stop trying to think about just sex and actually think about what it is to, what it takes to be a, a father, what it takes to be a mother. And think of the consequences. Literally think of the consequences in life. Because when that happens, when you start thinking about the consequences, you'd be thinking, I know I'd be thinking like, yo, do I really want to be doing all of that lovey dovey get me come give me some bow chicka bow bow? No. No, I I don't. Cause at the end of the day yeah I wanna be with the woman of my dreams, but I'm already with her. It's just, I don't want to be having a kid right now. Yeah, I said it. 
I don't have no kid right now because having a, having a child is another type of headache. At first, it's fun. Man, at first, it's fantastic. You're like, oh, you're adrenaline rush. You're like having a child. Like, yes, we have a kid. And then they get a little older and they're older and older. And you're like, I want to have kick this kid's a tootie right now. And I want to kick your butt. But you can't because you love them. And they don't want to listen to you, but they love you in their own weird way. But they just don't want to listen to you. But if you actually listen to God, guess what? Your children will listen to you. Because then they see, oh, okay, so he's listening to God. And from what when I was a child, God, or a higher, a share a higher, he is a, he's your father. He's my father. He's everybody's father. Mother, not mother. Yeah, I guess mother too. You know, he's he's everything. Uh, <coughs> but at the end of the day, if you're listening to him, your children will listen to you because they can see that. They'll see it. They'll hear it. They'll know it. You'll know that they're listening to you because you're listening to him. You know, vice versa. To the father, not to them. Well, you can listen to him, but you really ain't got to, like, listen to him. You know what I'm saying? Be like, Yo, get y'all bus to bed. No, nah, I don't want to get to bed. But if you don't get to bed, I'm going to whoop you so hard. You oh, you won't be able to sit down for three months. Sounds familiar? Exactly. I know. <laughs> but hey, I'm out. Love y'all. Peace and love. Be careful. Don't eat too much uh, pizza because you will get upset stomach. Oh, and kids, don't eat too many, too many um, candy, too much candy. Like, for real, for real. Oh, and guess what? Santa's not real. <laughs> what? No! Oh, my God. Santa's not real. But true, Santa is not real. That's just some bull. But you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> okay, I'm just, I'm having fun right now. See, that's another thing that you, you can't do. You can't talk about Santa Claus. You can't talk about a whole bunch of other stuff. You really can't. Because if you do, you get a disclaimer. You, you get kicked out. People be mad at you. Kids be like, oh my God, Bob, I heard on YouTube this dude say there's no Santa Claus. And then they'll be like, oh, uh, who? He's lying. I'm like, wait, so. It has, and then, and this is going to be hilarious when this happens. You find out when you get way older that it was not Santa Claus that was giving you the damn shit, sorry, stuff in your house, the gifts in your, in your, under your tree, and in your pocket, and you know, in in your, in your, uh, in your room. And then you're going to be thinking back to this video, and then you're going to be like. My parents lied to my ass. And that's why parents, I'm telling you now, parents, that's why your kid lied to you. And that's why your kids don't trust you. Because this whole judicial system about God and religion and also when it comes to the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, and a whole bunch of other stuff, it's fake. It's not bloody real. They're not real. Those aren't real people, aren't real things. That's just to get the kids to literally hate you when they get older and they find out that you lied to them. I mean, yeah, the church lied to you, so why be in the church? No, I'm not saying not be in the church, but there's always there's a good there's always good churches that are out there, but some aren't. But I'm just saying, why if the part if if the, especially if the church is doing. Uh, something that you know it's wrong and you know ain't right. Why are you there? Why are you there? Literally, why are you there? And you're teaching your children that that's perfectly fine to be in a place where they know they align to you and a whole bunch of other stuff. Well, that's for another day. Have a good day, guys. Love y'all. Peace and love. Mm -hmm. <laughs>